Continuing on with the challenging words to read in this book. This is a tough read. Um, but anyway, the mechanisms used in receiving such personal information are as follows. A. Hyperspatial information is fed from parallel worlds into the implicit order, assimilating into a quantum potential field and organized by the poten full potential self, proceeding into manif the manifested plan as in this space-time continuum. Which means, you know, where do you get a good idea? Where, you know, when you get a thought and it just sort of pops out of nowhere, where do you think it comes? That voice that says, I should do this, shouldn't do that. Where do you think that voice comes from? That is your full potential self from hyperspace that you listen to every single friggin' day and you interpret it through your emotions. If you're angry, you're going to read everything wrong. If you're loving, you'll read everything right. It is the good evil voices that you hear that if you're loving and you love yourself and your community, you'll read the information right. If you're angry, pissed off, you'll say what's the point and do something wrong. Um, B, the full potential self organizes the information into Com compatible or coherent form and feeds it into the water environment of the microtubules. That's why this water concept of uh, uh, bottled intentions, if the water was healthy, if it's designed correctly, um, water is a hell of a lot more than what you think it is. Microtubulars contain water molecules that form coherent holographic quantum alliances with the information and adapt it into already existing and potential existing holodynes. Now, when I say water is uh, definitely relevant, it contains information, but it, it's like this concept of bottled intentions. It's not magic water. As soon as you drink that water, what is in your head, What what's in the mind of every organ that you've got, which you've got more than one mind going on, you have heart mind, you have lung mind, all of them require water, but it's what messages those brains say about the water. So it's more of the influence that the water has on you by um, the messages that it gives. It interrupts your thought patterns and gets you back on track of what it is that you want it, and everything is driven by intention it's it, you can't have good intention to put out into the world you can only have a good intention for yourself and when you have good intention for yourself it unfolds in the rest of the world that's why good intentions to um, give food to people at food bank you're pushing your good intentions out on your world and you're actually doing more harm because why do people need food in the first place? When you want to do good intentions for yourself, you're con completely connected with yourself and your environment and your globe, and you would instinctually know that giving food to a food bank is not a exactly a good intention. That intention is just to pat yourself on the back saying, I'm a good person for all the money I'm making, you know, it's just a way to justify your money. But if you look at how you earn your money, you'll see that it's probably depriving other people of having their equal share of money because you're in competition. Um, so there is uh, an alignment with self and intention with self. And, you know, do you want to have good intentions for your world? then look at yourself and see what it is you do to harm the world and stop what it is that you're doing to harm the world instead of constantly pushing what you think is good of, you know, on other people. It's, it's always best to ask somebody how they need help and not to assume how they need help. I know what would help me out. Um, I get a kick out of people that, you know, criticize me for being on a, a welfare system. They're they're using bullshit, false information as to why I'm here and what I do on this program, 
clearly I'm not lazy. I get up every day and I work and I do an awful lot of research and I try to do good into my world. It takes work to do this. But those that are judging don't see this as work at all. This People see this as a waste of time. But it's not a waste of time. Um, I'm putting good out into the world. I'm I'm but more so with my own intentions. I'm reading the stuff that I, I read. Um, this may be something that I'm sharing with everybody else, but I'm the one that's reading it. I'm the one that's listening to it. This channel is more of a diary for myself and keeps me on track with myself. I've said this all along, that my whole channel was for me to improve my communication skills because clearly I suck. I can win competitions in uh, Toastmasters, you know, public speaking. I'm always very good at, at that kind of thing. I've done TV work. I have zero problems communicating, but communicating something that's complicated, clearly I'm challenged. So that's why I start this channel up to improve my communication skills. At the same time, I definitely lost all of my confidence. I had a ton of confidence until I seen that the whole system is completely corrupt and found out that the only way you can function within this society the way it's run today is if you are the criminal. Crime pays globally. The only way you're going to feed your family is if you participate in crime. That doesn't sit well with me. I had to sort of regroup and figure out another battle plan of how I'm going to survive in this world without being a criminal. And once I really get my feet on the ground with that and build the confidence to do what I know I need to do, then I'm getting healthier. But that only comes with me constantly practicing like I'm doing on YouTube. I'm listening to my inner voice and it keeps telling me what it is I'm supposed to do next. It's like I've got my life plan all out in front of me. Can I jump ahead? No. It's a process. I can only do one thing, get good at one thing, and then start working on the next. And this year seems to be um, a lot of changes for me. I'm noticing a massive change, not only with you know different searches I, I find on the internet, but is the internet any different, or is it me that's changing in the words I use in doing my, my research? Clearly, there's something within me that's making some changes. I'm also seeing an opportunity um, to do more of a business for myself. I needed an office and didn't have that opportunity. Now an office is presented itself. So I have to get my shit in order and take advantage of that opportunity now that it presented itself. It's almost like the universe was ready for me to move to the next stage because I knew I knew that that was another step that I needed to take, but I was just working on one thing and knew without a doubt that it would present itself when I was ready for it, and now it's presented itself. Now I've got to walk that path to be able to take advantage of it. I know exactly what it is I need to do. Um, one of them is I need to work out, which I clearly am sucking at that. Um, I failed many times to start workout plans, but with this new office and, you know, it's presenting itself with another opportunity to do the right thing for myself. I know what my full potential is. Jumping into my full potential is a challenge, but you get up every day and you keep practicing and keep working at it and keep having that vision and one day you will fall into it just like magic. It'll just seem like one day it was real easy. Well, it wasn't one day that it took it to be easy. It's, it's a process. And I'm very much in my own process. I know another thing that I want to do is start a, a blog um, radio and offer free tracking just so people can have that experience. Hopefully that it will draw advertisement for people that want to distribute more of their purpose and not what a corporate world wants to do. I don't think I would ever take sponsorship from a, an organization I personally can't support. But if there's other people that see that change needs to happen and you need the opportunity to unfold that change and you need to let people know, then maybe you might want to advertise with me. Um, 
doesn't mean that sponsorship requires funding right up front. It means that we all need to help each other out. And if it means that I, you know, have an advertiser that's not paying me, they can advertise my channel and just through that, if they end up getting any business down the road, they can pay me as they profit. But that's what we need to all be doing is seeing how we can jump into our own full potential, into what our missions are, and do it for free. If you work, if you do something you love, you'll never work another day in your life. I get up every day and I am doing work, but just because I love doing what I'm doing doesn't mean it's any less work and doesn't need to be supported financially. We do need to support each other. But it starts off by, you know, developing your skill, putting it out first, doing it for free. Half of my whole life experiences, some of the best opportunities that I created for myself, I volunteered first. And as soon as I volunteered and showed what I made of, all of a sudden I started getting paid for it. I taught my daughter that same lesson, that uh, do things that you love for free. One of hers was horses. So I found somebody that was willing to work with her that she had to shovel shit for three months. Never rode a horse, never did anything with horses other than shovel the shit. And she had to put that work in and she loved it just because she was near horses. And eventually, this guy that was helping her out trained her, taught her how to break a horse. And what horse did she break? The lineage of Secretariat. The most amazing horse. His name was Mel. And my daughter broke him in less than three months. And she had no experience. But it was well worth the volunteer work that she did because it brought her a lifelong memory, experience that she can put on a resume. Anyways, uh, C, microtubules contain water molecules that form coherent holographic uh, quantum alliance with the information and adapted it into already existing or potentially existing holodynes. Holodynes, multidimensional holographic information storage systems among the water molecules, demonstrate both linear and nonlinear properties that may account for duality such, such as are found in mental and emotional thought processes. Um, D, dimmer switches. On the tubulin walls responds to holodynes as on-off information patterning switches for the neuronic systems of the organism creating se sequencing of biological systems. That means your cells have uh, send, receive, and wait to decide. Your dimmers are your on-off switch. Um, a lot of us are in sending information, but we're not receiving information. It seems like all of our, our dimmers to receive information have been off for a long time. And those to receive information You'd be amazed at what you'll get. You'll, you'll, you'll find out what the, well, everybody seems to be believing in aliens, but there are other life forms. They're just alien to us, but they're not going to come in a spaceship. Spaceships are, you know, anything that's um, mechanically created is, is man-made. It's the same system over and over again. Anything that's alien to you, will come in a different form that you can't comprehend yet, but you need to open up your perceptions to be able to receive that. And right now, we're all blocked. Um, quantum frequencies, running in parallel transmitted information from holodynes according to the Fletch frequency and Gabor type transforms. Such frequencies reach into the entire field dynamics of the individual from microtubes to molecule structure, cellular organ, cellular organ and body functions through a personality development, providing the nonlinear wave references necessary for the quantum dimension of consciousness to function individually and collectively. Um, this may seem like it's getting into really, really deep, deep sciences, but this is the level that this guy studied, right down to the quantum physics of everything that we may not quite understand the terminology and the sciences that this guy's discovered, but he's just bringing the science that says 
here. This has been proven. And then he takes the conclusion of everything that's proven and said, well, if that's true, then this must be true. And that's the bigger picture. So hang on to the reading because it does get better. <laughs>